Hello, my name is Yembe Moibla and welcome to Tax Talk. Today I'm going to be talking about CPP or Canada Pension Plan. I'm going to talk about what it is, how it works in your working years, how it works in retirement or when you start receiving the benefit, how it's taxed, and lastly, what happens when you pass away. So firstly, CPP, Canada Pension Plan, it is a government mandated pension plan that is designed to replace about one third of your average earnings in retirement. And how it works is as follows. If you're 18 years of age or older and you receive salary, you pay into the plan and your employer will also match whatever you pay into it. For instance, in 2020, the maximum you would have paid into it was about $2,900. And again, your employer will match that same amount on your behalf. So in total, in 2020, you would have paid just under $6,000 into the CPP. Now, you must continue to pay into the plan until the age of 65, because that's when the government wants you to start receiving the benefits. Now. You don't have to wait till age of 65. In fact, you can start receiving benefit as early as 60. But if you do so, there is a amount that's withheld. You can call it a penalty, I guess. And that amount is about 0.6% for every month that you decide to receive the benefit early. So if you start right at 60, there's about a 60 month amount of 0.6% that's withheld from your amount. At the same time, even though the government wants you to start receiving it at 65, you don't have to. You can wait till 70. I don't know why you would do that, but I guess it would based on your overall your overall you know income situation. But if you wait till 70, the government will be like thank you and they will give you a 0.7% amount for every month that you wait post 65 to start receiving the benefit. Now, how is it taxed? Well, it is taxed. In retirement, most people don't earn as much as they earn while they were working. So the taxes you pay on this amount is not significant. The average amount a recipient received in 2020 was about just under $725, right? And the maximum amount that somebody would have received in 2020 was about $1,100. Unlike other types of income, because CPP is a, is a pension income, you can split it between you and your spouse. So depending on your guys' tax situation, you can put some of the amount on your spouse's income tax return to lower your taxes or lower their taxes. So it, it does offer some tax planning, like unlike other you know employment income or interest income or investment income or things like that. Now, what happens when you pass away? Well, when you pass away, the government will give you a one-time debt benefit. In 2020, it was about $2,500. On top of that, there's also a thing called a survival benefit. So if you pass away and you leave your spouse behind, the government will continue to pay what they were paying you to your spouse. But the amount that they paid them, it is reduced. If the spouse that you left behind is under the age of 65, the amount they receive is about 40% of what you were receiving when you were alive. If the spouse is over the age of 65, the amount they receive is increased and it's about 60% of what you were receiving. And obviously that amount is also taxed on your spouse's hand when they receive the amount. Uh, that is it. So again, in summary, CPP is a Canada, uh, it's a government mandated uh, pension plan that is meant to replace about one third of your average earning in retirement. If you're over the age of 18 and you work, you must pay into it and your employer will match the amount you pay into it. And you must pay into it until the age of 65. You can start to receive benefit anywhere between age of 60 and 70. If you start Prior to 65, there is a withhold and withheld, which is about 0.7% per month. Sorry, 0.6% per month for every month you take it early. And if you wait till 70, you get uh, an increased amount of about 0.7% for every month that you wait post 65. The amount is taxed. But unlike other income, the amount can be split between you and your spouse to, you know, to tax plan. 
and and if you have a lot of income you can put it on your spouse's tax return that way the amount that the amount of taxes is your, your total taxes is reduced and when you pass away there's a one-time payment in 2020 it was about two thousand five hundred dollars and if you leave his spouse behind when you pass away the government will continue to give him some amount on your behalf that is based on how much you you will receive it so that is it i hope that helps and if you have any questions please let me know below and i will gladly answer them before i go just a quick note here so in 2019 there was a report that was released by the uh, cpp board that said that there's enough money in the in the fund to last for about 75 years which means you know if you're five years of age or younger probably by the time you retire there may not be any funds in there so you know I, i'm glad i'm 30 so hopefully there's still some there for me when i retire thanks guys